In this video, we are going to learn how you can sync Outlook calendar with Google calendar. So the idea here is that whenever a new event is created in your Outlook calendar, automatically the same event should be created into your Google calendar also. For that, you need to integrate your Outlook calendar with Google calendar. So here your trigger application would be Microsoft Office 365 and your action application would be Google Calendar. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Public Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. To integrate Outlook Calendar with Google Calendar, first we need to log into pabbly, pabbly.com. This is the website of Pabbly. Here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you're going to get free tasks every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the All Apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Sync Outlook Calendar with Google Calendar. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Public Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we are going to integrate Outlook Calendar with Google Calendar so that whenever you're going to create a new event in your Outlook Calendar, automatically the same event will be created into your Google Calendar also. So let's integrate Outlook Calendar with Public Connect first. So open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Microsoft Office 365. Select the trigger event as New Calendar Event. Click on Connect. Click on Add New Connection and click on Connect with Microsoft Office 365. Now it is asking for the access so let's scroll down and click on Yes to give away the permissions over here. Authorization successful. And now the Microsoft Office 365 account is connected to Public Connect just because I was already logged in. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your Microsoft Office 365 account. Now here we have to select the calendar that we have created in our Microsoft Outlook account. For that, I'll just take you to my Microsoft Outlook account and here I am on my calendar. And you can see I have already created some calendars that is calendar and Public Connect. So now I want that whenever I create a new event in this calendar, then only the details should be added to Public Connect. So I'll be selecting the same calendar name over here also. So here from the drop down, I'm just going to select my specific calendar name. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first we are going to create a new event in our Outlook calendar. So let's move to Outlook calendar and here I'm just going to click on new event. Let's add the title as developers meeting. So I'm just giving a random name of the event. Okay, let's select the date that is 20th of October. And the timing would be 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay, 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Now here we have to add the location. So let us give it as IT Park Bhopal. And here we have to add the description. So let us give the description as all the developers are supposed to attend this meeting. Okay, so I've just given a random description. All the developers are supposed to attend this meeting. Okay, and now let's click on save. So here we can see that an event is created. Name as developers meeting. The timing is 10 a.m. Okay, now let's move back to public connect. And now we're going to click on save and send test request. And here we can see the responses received and the recently created event details are captured over here. Okay, we can find the subject line as developers meeting. We can find a transaction ID also. Here we can find the time zone as UTC, start date and time and when we scroll down we can find some other details also. Here we can find uh, the address details, the location of the meeting okay and here we can find the location and here I am just going to show you the description of the meeting also. Yes, this was the body preview. So we can find the description of the meeting also. So we have got all the details. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the response as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. Okay. And here also it is mentioned that this particular trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes. Okay. 
So now we want that using these details automatically the same event should get created into your Google Calendar also. So now let's integrate Google Calendar with Pabli Connect. So scroll down, come to this action window and here choose the application name as Google Calendar. Select the action event as create an event. Click on connect, click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Calendar. Now here it is asking me to choose an account to continue to Pabli Connect Calendar. So I'm just going to choose my account from here. Now it is asking for the additional access. So let's click on continue to give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Public Connect. Authorization successful. Okay, now the Google Calendar account is connected to Public Connect. Now here we have to select the calendar in which calendar we want to add the uh, event details. So I have already created a calendar, same calendar name as Public Connect here also. Okay, so now I want all the events to be created in this particular calendar. So I have to select the same calendar over here in Public Connect. So let's find the calendar from the drop down. Okay. And now here it is asking for the title, description and other details of the event that needs to be created. So we have already got all these details from our trigger response over here. Okay. So now we are going to map all these details. For mapping, simply scroll down, click it over here, come to the trigger response and from the drop down, we are going to map the details. First, let us add the title that is the subject line developers meeting. So why we are mapping the details over here, we can even copy and paste it also. So we are mapping just because next time whenever a new event will get created into your Outlook calendar, automatically the same event details will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. That is the reason we have to map the values over here. Okay. So now let us map the description. Body preview, all the developers are supposed to attend this meeting. Okay. Then we have to map the location also. So this was the location. Now here we have to map the start date and time. So let us map it from the trigger response. This is the start date and time. And here it is mentioned in the instructions that enter your event start date and time value over here, which should be in YY, MM and DD format along with the time zone. So we have got the start date and time in the same format over here. So we have mapped the same over here. So if you have received the date and time in some other format, you can use date and time formatter just to change the format of the date. Okay. Remember here you have to map the values in Y, M, M, and D, D format along with the time zone. Okay. In the same way, we have to map the end date and time also. So this is the end date and time. Now here we have to select the time zone. So as you can see that the event which we have created over here, it is for 10 a.m. in the morning. The timing we have given was 10 a.m. But we have received this timing in the UTC time format over here in the trigger response. Okay. I'll just show you. Here you can see the start time zone. It is UTC. So the time, the date and the time is captured over here in the UTC format. Okay. You can see 10 a.m. in the morning is 4.30 according to UTC. So we are going to map the same time zone over here also. That is in the UTC format. I'm not going to change it. Okay. Now here we have to select the visibility. So you can select the visibility of the event as per your requirement. Either you can keep it as a public or a private one. Okay. Now here we have to map the email address of the guest to whom you're inviting for the event. So we have not given the details in our event that we have created. So I'm just leaving this field as blank and even this field is not mandatory also. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the response is received. It means a new event is created in your Google calendar. Let's check it. Okay. And the same event is created over here. We can see the event name as developers meeting. We can find the date as 20th of October. Timing as 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. We can find the location and here we have got the same description also. That is all the developers are supposed to attend this meeting. Okay. And here we can find the visibility to public. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine and a correct event is generated over here. Okay. So let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now, as we have set up an automation, this is a one time process. Next time, whenever you're going to create a new event in your Outlook calendar, automatically the same event will be added to your Google Calendar also. So now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, let's move to the Outlook Calendar and here let us create a new event. Let's give the event title as Annual General Meeting. And here let us give the date as 25th of October this time. Let's give the timing as 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Let's add the same location over here as corporate point.
and here i'm just going to give the description all managers are supposed to attend this meeting i'm just giving a random description over here okay okay so we have added all the details now let's click on save event is created over here okay so here we can see that a new event is created now let us check our google calendar we have to just refresh our google calendar now here even after refreshing we can find the event details saved over here just because i have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response so here we have to wait for some time so now it's almost three to four minutes let us refresh our google calendar once again okay and before refreshing itself we can find the new event created over here name as annual general meeting here we can find the date as 25th of october this time timing is 1 to 1 30 pm the same location is given as corporate point and here we can find its description so in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between Microsoft Outlook Calendar and Public Connect so that whenever you're going to create a new event in your Outlook Calendar, automatically all the event details are captured in Public Connect. And then using those details, we have created the same event in your Google Calendar also. And in this way, we have learned that how we can sync our Outlook Calendar with Google Calendar using Public Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case you have any queries, you can just post your queries at Pabli Forum. Our team will surely get back to you. This is our Pabli Connect website. And to know the latest updates and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is Pabli.connect. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is attached in the description box. You can clone this workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.